my god! I found the other night when you guys didn't hear the noise. Same order I think? Link. Wait, really? I'll bookmark it then. What is that? Is that for buttons? Oh, he's making his own buns. Hey, XQC and chat. Been watching for a while, and it's crazy how much time has passed. That's a lot of butter. Holy Christ! The plant. Diabetes? Guys, we'll chat together. A nice little touch to it though. Oh my. Chat, what do you better chat to get a, a big, a big, a big um, sheet, metal, with, uh, like a, like a, like a, a model inside, or how do you got a mold? Put dog on the ground, and go, you go, uh, boom. Twenty balls done in one time. That is so much work for, for such few burgers. Go vegan, go vegan. I don't think anybody goes out there and, goes out there and yells, eat me, eat meat, eat shit, eat shit. Nobody gives a fuck, dude. Just eat whatever you want, man. Why do you have to, why do you have to change the world? Just eat whatever you want, man. Choices are more about a political statement than than uh, nutrition 
Then you're a fucking moron. You're an idiot moron. That looks kind of fantastic, though. Okay. But being vegan is good for the earth, meat isn't. Okay. Okay. And you're telling us this? Why? So? You being here on the internet, okay, isn't helping the world at all. You're consuming energy for entertainment. You're literally, you're wasting energy. You being here at the computer, watching this dog shit stream, is literally wasting. You're, 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 nobody doing anybody a first service. You're just wasting for entertainment. Ayo, hey, this show's fun as fuck. It's two games per episode link. If you enjoy it, just do it. If you, if you enjoy eating eat grass, uh -huh. eat grass. What what is that to be more than just eating something that you enjoy? Marinated bacon. If cows could eat us, they would. We at the top of the food chain, motherfucker. We eat whatever the fuck we want. Go eat some carrots and grass, you hippie fucks. Wood. Dude, wood. Hey. Ah, oh, dude. I'm sure the vegans are. Dude. Oh, I lost. Oh, grass and wood chips. Oh, yum, yum. Yummy, dude. That has a nice. Wow. That looks sublime. It's so juicy, what the fuck? That that pure, that 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 is pure taste. Why did you link this? Why did you link this? <laughs> What is he making? A ketchup or relish? Whoa, 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 Mr. Cow? Your name is actually Cow. How can you not advocate for your own species? I care more about animals than actual fucking helmets. I literally had grass for dinner tonight. Yummy, yummy, um, it was delicious. Who is you a hoe?
What, they grind it with ketchup? And mustard. What, and mayo? Chat, I am so sad. I lost my 26 month streak. I guess I'm a Norman now. Sag. 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 Chat, is this the, like, like there's special sauce? Looks pretty good though. Hey, it looks pretty dank. Looks kinda bussin'. This burger needs some honey. Oh, you mean it needs a little bit of honey? Vegans are like angry gamers, but instead of yelling touch grass, they tell you to eat it. Yep. I prefer my lettuce I turned vegan iceberg. a year ago and I love it. I love eating my wood chip burgers with a side of freshly cut grass from my garden. You all don't have any idea how good chewing wood is for you. Keep eating dog shit ass meat while I eat my grass and sore dust losers. Chicken sando, song masu, we pickle tomatoes and all. Oh? What is that? Sugar, garlic, vinegar, what's up? Food what else? only tastes good for the few minutes you eat it. Animals farmed for meat suffer for every minute of their existence. The meat replacements are good enough these days. Yeah, but Good enough though? Okay, you, you, it's gonna be hard for you to convince to ten most burgers. humans that you have good to enough. Six months in advance to eat at this place. So it's like, it, it, you, dude, you know, people aren't gonna be rational about this. Okay, okay, it's a dis, it's a, it's a discount taste for an increased price. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants that. What is that though? Oh, I love onions. I don't give a shit. Red onion, white onion, raw, cooked, caramelized, I don't give a fuck. Red is better raw. Why is better, is better uh, cooked in my opinion, but they're both good in both stances, I think. Oh, onion rings! Oh my... Imagine saying don't eat cow and then eating all of their food. And beer batter. One by one. Uh, 
Oh well, just dunk that shit then. All this looks very artisanal. Artisanal! Art yeah, I don't know how to say this. Artisanal? Actual bozos. Do what you want, chat, eat the good meat. That's only in French, that word. Dumb chat, you guys make fun of vegans, but when I okay. get hungry, I can just bend over and chomp on some grass blades. If I ever want some extra flavor, I eat some leftover dog shit while I'm at it. <laughs> you will eat the bugs. You will live in the pot. Wait, these wait, these pitties are immense though, what the fuck? Oh, they shrink though, right? Oh, around the fire. What is that? Applewood smoke bullshit? My. Oh I no way, dude. It was orgasmic. I placed my order six months ago and I was finally able to eat it this morning. It took them six fucking months to make my combo meal. This is why I turned these and now I can just go outside and chew on three bars. <laughs> I used to eat meat, but now I don't cause I eat their food instead yum grass with a side of dog food. I feel like this would be very inefficient for a restaurant, but I mean, it looks great though. Brian, wait, people actually like to not eat meat. Must be a nitty liberal. Four years XQCL. They charge 15 bucks a burger, that's it? As a vegetarian, I love eating grass. I even go so far as spending a few hundred dollars Yeah, that's dollars it, guys, that, that's a quality that's burger though. fertilized by rare wagyu cows. Yum, so delicious. Yeah, that's it. Guys, this is worth 150 bucks. Are you kidding me? Are you done? You guys, you, guys, you guys always say millionaire take. You guys, you guys act uh, uh, around money like I'm out of touch when you're out of touch. This is worth 115 bucks. Are you kidding me? You'll ever have some New York style medium rare dirt. This is worth 150 bucks. What is all of you? starvation. Watch Curse Jessic video is meat really that bad. You really need to educate it's yourself. It's not pre-prepared frozen day. dog shit. They make their own buns for fuck's sake. Dude, some restaurant charge like 50 bucks for, for fucking, uh, dude. For burgers and now you make their own buns. Any chance you could put a poll in chat to see if there are actually any vegans here? Of course there are again. I 
I'd like my lettuce a little more dry, but that's right. This chat should be more sympathetic to the vegan movement. They have about the same IQ as a common dairy cow. Yeah, you're definitely paying more than 15 bucks for this. Definitely paying more than 15 bucks for this. Day five since I ordered. Apparently the burgers here are bussin. I can't wait. Only a couple more days to go. Damn, that is so fucking cheap. You pay 12 and 10 bucks for this? That's insane. Guys, please stop roasting as vegans. Our food is not that bad, honestly. I love eating my daily bowl of fresh rocks and mud in the morning was so delicious and nutritious. That's insane. If I'm being completely honest, vegan food sucks. I, mean, look at the labor I miss it. meat. You pay more at your dog and fast food? Everything is frozen. They just, just, they just put that bitch ass in for like whatever amount of time. They, they, they dump it, they spun it into a fucking plate, and that's it, dude. And you pay more than that. Onion rings, though, they, they look worth it. These onion rings looks, look actually wicked nuts crazy. What is this? That sauce, I kinda wanna taste it though. Looks kinda good. Man, these burgers are really customizable too. Beats! Beats! That's so overpowering of a taste, though. Of how bad the current meat production meta is. It's in desperate need of overhaul before the industry collapses. Is that that? I mean. What the fuck is that? Dude, that looked like belly bun lint. My GF of three years broke up with me last week. Watching you steam every night has kept me company and has kept my mind busy. I appreciate you streaming well, that every was really, day. That was really good, Jesus. Fantastic, yeah. Hi X, a few months ago I said I was interviewing to start working for an investment bank. Good news for you and chat is that I got the job and can finally afford a better place for my family. Hey. Thank no. you for all the laughs and laughs. I've never seen this before. XQCL. Okay. That looks pretty good. Oh my, that looks disgusting. What? Just God. think about it. We are killing ourselves. What the, what the fuck? The mayor of Roundabout City promised that we're gonna have sufficient food. I did not think that we're gonna all become vegan for the rest of our life. India street Juice food. Watch this link. Jesus. Check it out. It's Trevor James. I'm in Mumbai, India. We're going for a full on food tour, street food tour of this city. We're Why, see what? what? It's my first trip here and I'm so pumped. What is it? Is it dog shit? 
Mumbai is packed with cuisine that you're gonna fall in love with on your first try. You'll never run out of new things to try as you explore the city. I came here to eat, and I found a ton of awesome snacks and meals that blew me away. Travelers always say that India is sensory overload, and I have to agree, especially when it comes to eating. Love you too. Ah, ye kya hai? Pabaji. Ah. Ah, ek pabaji. Ah. Pabaji is a thick and creamy vegetable gravy made mainly with potatoes, tomatoes, peas, and onions. It's mashed up before your eyes on the street side, and you can literally smell the butter as you walk by. The vendors add so much as they make it. It's served with a super soft butter soaked bun to plant a goddamn lots of gravy on too. Vegans could raise a family by the time their food is ready like goddamn. Who do you think is the most popular actor of all time? That looks. I don't know about this, man. Oh wow! Thank you. I'm gonna take a bun. I'm gonna get some of that buttery, juicy sauce. Oh, it's saturated. Oh, and he just loads it up with butter. Wait, wait, is he over the plate? I don't get it. I don't get it. Wait. Oh, and he just loads it up with butter. Thank you. That is unbelievable. Next, I made my way to the most famous street food in Mumbai, uh, 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 the Vada Pav, aka the Mumbai Burger. If you're vegetarian, this is your heaven. It's made with deep fried potato patties stuffed with cumin, mustard seeds, turmeric, coriander, and masala powder. And then it's covered in a mint chutney, sweet chutney, and a spicy red chili powder. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is the Mumbai burger. Look at that. Wow. Guys, I don't know about this. Whoa. Guys, I don't know about this, chat. That is really nice. You can see that soft potato batter. It's spicy. I think there's like stuff with Indian spices. I think it tastes like fennel or cumin in there. And these crisps, oh, it's crispy. But the bun is so soft. And since it was Ramadan, I came to the must-visit Muhammad Ali Road. If you come on the eve of Eid, then you're in for a treat, because you can find a huge selection of specialty street foods, and the festive that atmosphere good, eh? is going to make you hungry. This is Malpua, which is like an egg saffron ghee pancake. It's so hot here, so many people, and I want to try this out. Let's order up. How much? Cool. OK. This is the Malpua. Two bucks. Oh. <laughs> wow, thank you. This is the egg malpua. This, oh, this is gonna be the probably the oiliest thing I've ever eaten. It's like an egg pancake loaded with saffron. I think the white stuff, I think that's like a milk, a cinnamon <laughs> milk. Oh, it's really hot. Let's try it out. <laughs> I'm gonna go and say no on this one. Mm. Whoa. Wow. That is surprisingly really good. It tastes like eggnog almost. It's like, it tastes like a sweet cinnamon banana with a hint of cardamom. Next, I had a recommendation to try the mutton brain gravy and the tandoori quail. This is absolutely insane here. We're gonna order up some tandoori peasants. Look at this. I have tandoori chicken here. Oh yeah, get a little lime on there. Get a little lemon. And over here, this is the specialty quail. Whoa. That's very good. Yeah, it's tender. The only thing that eat in mm. India is probably the Indian a little smoky. food. And that skin is so crispy. This here is like a Lamb brain gravy. Oh, lamb brain gravy. Try lamb brain? Oh. Forget the food. If Ooh. everywhere I went was this crowded, I'd have to off myself. I don't know if I can Ch roll with the brain. This is prison food. It's Ex almost like a little smile. fishy. But I wasn't about to let that one brain stew ruin the show for the rest of them. So I came to try a different spicy version down the next road. 
made with garam masala, a lot of turmeric, and a ton of spice. Oh, it smells good. It smells really spicy. I can smell the turmeric in there. One brain, please. Yes. One what? Brain. That means one, one brain? Lamb brain. Another lamb brain. Thank you. Oh my. There's all that garam masala spice, chili powder. There's so there's lots of turmeric, and I am excited. I've never tried this before. Let's go for it. Mmm. The garam masala, the chili powder, the turmeric, all mixed together, is really good. Thank you. That was really good. Thank you very much. Oh, so good, so nice. I never thought lamb brain would be like that. Thank you. Thank you. The next day, I found a street kachori topped with a sweet chutney, mint chutney, crisps, dal, and yogurt. Excuse me. Uh, eggs, kachori. Thank you. Oh. kachori. X just try it surely. What you like the it. fuck? Thank you. Dude, How much? Spamming. 20 rupees. Okay. He put a sweet chutney and a mint chutney on there. We're gonna try it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, tasty. It's really nice actually. Oh! It's sweet, spicy. This is a mint chutney. A uh, mint chutney. Yeah, green chutney. Green chutney. Mmm, very nice. If you guys, like it's like guys, sweet, guys, spicy, guys. Spicy. You know what this feels like? Crispy. So you're playing one of those like cooking games, right? And as you put they put a big order, you have enough time. You have like eight days remaining, and you, you, you just click all the ingredients and you just start spamming. You said send. Puff. And a trip to Mumbai wouldn't be complete without the famous pani puri. This crunchy, spicy, turmeric, water-filled cup of joy is found all over India. But I came here to like Mumbai no. to eat it. I've been waiting so long to try this. This is the spot in Mumbai to try I'm it out. Indian, it's like an Indian water awful, bomb, packed me, with tamarind, sweet tamarind flavor. Let's try it out. So you can see the green things in there. Those are moondal. And these white circular things, those are crisps called bundi. They mix two types of water together. One is like a, a spicy ta- Oh, oh, it exploded. Oh, one is like a spicy tamarind water. What is and one that? Is I can feel my hurt stopping at each bite he takes. XQCEL. Mm. Oh, that is a classic game Whoa. for sure. That, that is, is really a good. classic. Boom. It explodes in your mouth. It's super sweet. I can taste the tamarind in there. It's a little spicy. And this pani puri is so crunchy. Okay. It's like a crunchy Chat. Water Next country. The water and, and, and next cool country and street food. Let's see. I found a special protein filled chickpea mash with mustard seeds, onions, and cilantro at a super busy little street corner. Yes, please. Oh. Okay. We'll do so UK is, uh, and Mexico. Why not? Sub company. Wow. Okay. So look at this. Guys, they India, guys, this. I'm not convinced yet. I'm this sorry. It's like not really that I'm like India. mash with all these crisps. The street food. Fresh onions, I'm not convinced yet. Fresh cilantro. Oh. Guys, we will revisit the the uh, no Indian street food. Taste like. Let's try it out. Whoa, that is unique. That is Man, look at this guy. He's like, Dude, shut up, you mom. <laughs> Legumes are really, really hearty. It's 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 like the next level of mashed potatoes. You get a full-on hearty flavor. I actually taste a little bit of sweetness in there with some cilantro yeah. and onions. Oh, fruits are honking. Have you ever seen one of the streets in there? Dude, you're not you even guys remember the last video? There's no days. lanes, there's Probably no direction. It's just, it's a brawl. Guys, it's a mosh pit. The famous tally shop and experienced a true home cook style tally in downtown Mumbai. Complete with an assortment of dishes and desserts, giving a full spectrum of sweet, salty, spicy, bitter, and sour dishes. Oh, and this is covered in ghee, right? No. Covered in, oh, very nice. Fruit salad. Is it in the yogurt? Uh, Montreal sweet food. Fruit and milk. Those oh. motherfuckers eat actual And this one here? Look at their teeth. This is gulab jamun. Gulab jamun, uh-huh. 
Yes, please. This is a speech. You and your chat dance Thank you very much. I like chat needs. Oh, but you know. understand that hot dogs and other oh, processed wow. foods are a little pig's assholes. Lol, you're eating pig's assholes. You're eating pig's assholes. I'll just dip it right in. You're eating pig's assholes. No, no, you can use it a lot, eh? Can I? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not all assholes, though. It's just the whole pig, though. No, you can use it. Can I use my left? Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's try it out. Pakistani food. Oh. All that. Dude, actually, fuck all that. Okay. You catch it for yet? No, thanks, my brother. Okay, what is this? Good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Beirut, Lebanon. This is an amazing city. It's so much good food and amazing people. Today, we are going to take you on an ultimate street food tour, Lebanese street food tour of Beirut. We're going to eat a lot of Lebanese food. It's 5 a.m. in Beirut. The city has not woken up yet, but there's this one food stall that's about to close. And that's where we're beginning this ultimate Lebanese street food tour of Beirut. Yo, you're crazy. Buddy. Good morning, good morning. Yo, real you, man? Ronaldo, good man. You know, you're if crazy. it's just for the uh, sound eggs, of man. the birds and sleepy Beirut, um, this is worth What is that? Oh, this one is the rami or the? Exactly. Oh, this is the rami. Rami. We ordered two different versions. One is the kibbe, which is the raw raw meat for breakfast, yeah. and the other one we got is called sujuk. Sujuk. And you know what I was surprised to see is that usually uh, sujuk I see it uh, in the uh, yeah, like uh, sausages, like sausages. Yeah. But it was a spread. It's a spread. Yeah. And, uh, spread. So it's, yeah. it's kind of it's probably the, the inside, you know, without the skin. Like. Yeah. And the sujuk is cooked. He did spread that out and then did put it on the hot plate for That's a, bit. a hard it smells pass. Smells amazing. I'm beginning with the kibbeh, the raw meat, uh, uh, lamb, right? Minced lamb. Minced lamb. The, the, the so. kibbeh. <laughs> oh, wow. You bite into the sandwich and immediately that garlic just like squeezes out. The meat, like you wouldn't even guys, know this it's guy's raw. Really bad chef, it though. just has a slight like cooling temperature. That is incredible. I, I like him, but he, uh, he's super bad chest. Oh, wow. Oh, the raw onions in there. This might be the first time I've ever had raw meat for breakfast. And I'm very, very happy about it. That raw meat almost acts like butter, like jam, meat jam. All right, and jam. Okay. that kibbeh is amazing. Okay. My next spot. In just screaming into a voice. Yeah, I like it. Though. Next up, Camel brought us to a bakery. I Hello. love this place, 24-7. 24-7, thank you yeah. very much. And pastries would be a very common part of Lebanese food culture. Definitely like for snacks breakfast. for breakfast. Late night, or late just night. like you said, snacks. So let's have a halloumi loaf. So okay. just bake a fresh loaf and they make a sandwich halloumi with loaf. vegetables. That sounds incredible. And also, okay, though, that's like white cheese, cheese with turkey. Okay. Um, also white cheese, minced meat. Okay, awesome. Oh, he's gonna show this guy's nice. No, I think that's white. I got a little cheeky. White cheese. Oh, white cheese. Babbo is that. What you're looking at, Mark, is oh, that well, that's that good. breakfast. Bread uh, with cheese on it or with za'atar with a thyme spice mixture and sesame seeds. And then we're also going to get a halloumi Time, loaf. Me, an olive oil. I don't know what it this is. Kind of I know halloumi, but a halloumi loaf, how good does it get? And that's our piece of bread that he, uh, he cooked in the oven now. He's gonna add the halloumi. So okay. That's the halloumi. Are you get, okay. getting this? Yes. You, if you don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's for us. Oh, it's for us too. I didn't order that. <laughs> oh, wow. Feast for the eyes. That's a cool platter, though. Oh, wow. Had no idea. I thought we were just gonna get a little, like, loaf of halloumi. I've only been in Beirut and Lebanon for a very short time so far, but I can already tell you every meal in Lebanon is a festival. That the Lebanese people uh, always say, uh, which means the eye eats first before the mouth. And this is what you see here. It gotta look good before you even taste it. More more is here. It's your ma. <laughs> oh, wow. wow, what's this? That's especially for you, Mark. It's uh, I've never seen it before. It's a spiced up spinach pie. Wow. And uh, wow. it's really epic. Chili paste, and that's labne in the middle. <laughs> I've, I've never seen anything like it before. Let's so do a zata toast. Like in the Arab. We're all starting with the uh, Zatar is one of my favorite things in this region of the world. I loved it when I was in Jordan. Wow, yeah. this bago is great. I love this guy. Perfect with a sip of tea in the morning. I don't know if Lebanese people do it or not. Dip I just, it, I just it, can't. I just can't resist going like this. It's like a local. And get a Lebanese. Yes, and get some Lebanese. Lebanese and zatar go very well together. I'm trying to get this olive also uh, in the mixed. In the mix. There we go. What about, Amazing. What about the olive a seed? Oh, they they removed it. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy, dude. That just like enriches it with mint. This guy. Thank you. I taste that with mint. Oh man, that labnin. It's so rich. It's so thick. Rocket. Some of the fresh loca. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to try that halloumi. <laughs> the halloumi loaf, right? Yes. Yeah. Stuffed within the bread. The Kim, bread is just perfect decent. with the sesame seeds. Actually, Mark, the perfect finish was he whatever some olive oil mm -hmm. and then sprinkled zatar on top of the dough for like what? The, the olive oil makes it so juicy. Yes. The cheese, the halloumi, it's so thick, it's so... Jesus, it's loud. I'm skipping through it, man. I don't care that much. Just show me a good meal, dude. Haji Muhammad Tubbar. Was that falafel? What an amazing man. Ahlein, ahlein. What an amazing man. Ahlein, He's so ahlein. friendly. He's welcomed us in. Ahlein. This is a falafel restaurant that's been going for 45 years. He's, he's been the man. <coughs> They're donut cake. Mm. What is that? <laughs> donut cake? One of the most unique things, and I've never seen this at any falafel place ever before, is that the, his falafels are little donut shaped. So they, he fills the batter into that little mold, um, adds on some sesame seeds, a top layer of sesame seeds, pokes a little hole in it, and then it goes into the oil, and they turn into little donut shapes. And that's because he wants it to fry evenly. You have more deep fried real estate. That's always a good idea. That's a genius move when it comes to falafel, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dipped it in the tahini and the oh man, I love that donut shaped design. Oh that's hot. This guy man. The crispiness, the texture of this one is amazing. Like it's it's less herbaceous, but more hearty. And that's an amazing texture. Oh wow. Oh that that you guys that is wicked. Chat, this one is wicked insane. I think like having those four breakfasts was that foundation. That was that was a lot. Uh, but there's still a few more things to eat. Specifically, one of the ultimate dishes Whoa. you have to eat when you're in Lebanon. I didn't think I could get so bricked Can't watching a YouTube fighter. This is called Almost Joseph, as good as watching you smoke some coppers in GT. Those of shawarma, they are huge. They are circling. They are dripping with juices. And the aroma of meat is just protruding out of this stall. Oh man, it smells good. 
it's like a cascading waterfall where the drips just slowly fall down the rocks and the layers and what's what's genius about this shawarma is how there's a, just an entire layer of fat at the top which slowly drips down just saturating the meat as it goes down and soaking it up and the fat and the juices just drip down into a puddle at the bottom a puddle of fat and juices meat juices it's like a hypo style hall it's this like a pillar time, a pillar of shawarma <laughs> okay sure <laughs> thank you okay i'm on this is an honor this is an honor i have a chance to slice the shawarma for the first time mark have a secret you are a good shawarma okay. It's really thin, I know. Yeah? Okay. Cut here? Oh, only on... You want to get the, sh the part that's... Yeah? Oh. oh, man. That is the most satisfying knife cut you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wake up. It's getting way brother. harder than it looks, especially with like, that fire just in your man. face. Your face is Jesus. just hot the entire time you're slicing. Um, and you have to make sure it's thin. Like, I can do it very slowly, but he just like goes all the way down. That's an art. That is a skill. Very, a lot of respect for these guys. I would do one at the back better. What is that, at the back, chicken? Chicken looks better, for sure. Okay. Okay, that looks, that looks like I'm insane though, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, my face shit, is burning that looks hot. insane. And I think our shawarmas are ready. So, Fadi and I are gonna split. We get a half of each, half of beef, half of chicken. Okay, so for the chicken, he takes the bread, they put garlic sauce in it, uh, there's pickles, there's lettuce, and then he shaves off the chicken, again marinates the chicken in its own fatty juices, shoves that into the bread, adds in some fries, and then rolls it up. And they do it like, they roll it tight. They like make sure I don't like fries in it though. And let me tell you what really makes a good uh, shawarma chicken sandwich. It's the garlic sauce. The garlic That's sauce. That's what makes it really good or not really good. That's, it, it's what brings everything together. Yeah. In this area of the world, never eat Fries chicken without garlic it? sauce. Nah, I don't like it. Tear off the paper. It gives it, it, gives it, a, it, gives it a pasty fucking a texture. I don't like that. I don't think it mixes very well. So we've almost completed this ultimate street food tour of Beirut. Yep. Yeah, pasty, literally pasty. Yeah, fries are pasty, man. This guy, man. Mm. <laughs> Oh wow. Like the crunchiness of that chicken. Oh, the garlic. The garlic immediately. <laughs> yeah, imme okay, that's interesting. Oh shit. Things from Montreal, Canada. No it's shit, they get a real poutine here, dude. And absolutely no shot. Then. At the Jean Talon market, which happens to be Gordon named after Jean Talon, the first intendant of New France. The first from minute, olive stuff me. with lemon Click rind to Middle Eastern. They do, they do, the they do, they do. Thank you, Ling. I think I'm pronouncing it right, I think. Chez Tuzignon. I heard they sell good poutine. So let's try it. It's a three minute walk from a Jean Talon market. White everywhere. In sweetest Wait. Sandwiches. Je voudrais en poutine. All one or big one? Poutine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to practice a little bit of French, I know. Various seating options: bar style, kitchen view, regular tables, and. <laughs> Chairs, also Excuse views outside with natural light flooding in. So what is boudin? It's french fries with cheese curd and a brown gravy. So new for me. What? What? It's whatever dude, so... I have never had a cheese like that. That 
cheese is so interesting. When I, when I chew... Oh, that, 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 that looks, that looks worse in it. It makes squeaky sound. <laughs> Categorizes. Yeah, that's 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 pretty bussin. That, that is pretty dang. As a winter food, a comfort food, perfect for a day like this. The gravy kind of reminds me of a shin dang. sauce. You know that packet of powder, like that savoriness. That's what it reminds me of. Shit. That's Some of the fries do get very flexible, like they've been doing yoga for years. They don't get Some soggy though. though. That's not true though. It doesn't get soggy. Guys, guys, gravy doesn't really sog your fry out though. Because it it's too thick. It doesn't sog it up though. It's bowl, like not really. Been doing yoga for years. If your gravy is very watery, it will get a little soggy, right? But with this gravy, it doesn't get super sog soggy. Some fries though, like this. Good gravy very will not touchy. sog it. It won't. Our first poutine. I mean, just shadows doesn't know nothing. Guys, I'm from Montreal, motherfucker, okay? You know nothing. You don't know shit. Show you stupid ass up, man. We could do a little bit of policing, not now, though. I want to see this though first. What is that? Is that... Fry? Oh, flour. Seasoned flour and tempura. Are th were those fresh? Hold up. Oh, uh, they're probably fresh, right? No? They look packaged. Oh. Ah, oh, they're frozen. You can hear it. Oh, it doesn't really matter, though. I, I feel like they're in Japan, right? And they're frozen. They'll be frozen. They'll be frozen regardless. To preserve the fish, it'll be frozen anyway. Not frozen, frozen. Oh, it's Korea. Oh, oh fuck off. I mean, it's not much. Welcome to the jungle. When it comes down, when it comes down to freshness, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Kind of Korea, Japan. Don't they close the water? Oh my god, I'm cancelled, man, guys. I said that for the freshness of the animals that are taken from the water, both countries are close to water. Guys, that's it. I'm cancelled. It's the end of it, yes. Country close to water equals cancelled. I said it. This does look fantastic. Yeah. yeah, these don't look very good. Huh? Is that just chicken? Dude, my man's comes in equipped. Holy shit. Hmm? Was that four buckets of chicken? No. 
Let's see what he does with that. Oh my. A lot of oil, brother. That's it. Watching, watching Korean street food. We're watching a lot of videos of street food. Uh, I'm interested in what some countries have to offer. This looks disgusting. I'm gonna go eat a tree. about these I don't get it you guys get what is this thick batter it's like different is it not all those are wings and they have egg or corn I'm not a big fan of uh, of drumsticks. I'm a uh, I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man of culture. I'm a flat only eater. I only eat flats. Well, I mean the earth is flat, and the wings are, are also flat. It's not be fitting to only eat the flat uh, the flat ones. Okay, that looks really good. That looks very, very well breaded. Mr. Cow, watch this one as well. It's about some starfling. A kebab? Dude, where I'm from, this place called... I always tell you guys, it's called Marathon, and it's, uh, I think it's like a Greek place. And they have, uh, soup lackeys, or whatever you call that? Kebabs, type of thing. Pita souvlaki. And a bunch, it has a bunch of, of a tzatziki sauce in it. And it is absolutely fucking sin. It is sin. It's a pita bread with with a, a chicken, chicken souvlaki. Insane, dude. Tzatziki sauce is so damn good. I don't even know where to begin, dude. Come on. get a picture of their meal. Hold up. My grandma loves going there. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Chat, look at dude, dude, dude. 
Look at it, dude. Guys, look at this thing. Oh, dude. It's insane. Looks basic. Yeah, but yeah, but the true good things in life and the true good food is rarely intricate and fucking has a, 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 a multi part and crazy. You, you can say, you can lie to yourself as much as you want to. The really, really good things aren't too complicated then. Shut up, you eat you, 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 Del Taco. Okay, and, and you know what you eat? You know what you eat? You eat nothing. Because you're broke, fuck you! Okay, sorry about that. Fuck, sorry guys, sorry guys. This guy, dude, I, dude, I had, to, had to fucking cook this guy. Fuck you. Shit, man. Why is he taunting me, though? I'm watching, I'm watching some guy cook some chicken, and you're taunting me. He's taunting me. I'm sorry, I'm just trolling. Yeah, I'm just trolling. I'm just Good oh my god, is that like General Tao? Guys, guys, I want to watch one thing Mexico street food. I've never seen any. I've never seen any. Give me, give me a good one. 40 minutes? <coughs> well, I mean, there's some in California, but it's like, you know. Um, oh, don't tell me it's the same guy, right? It's, is, it, is it the guy? That, is it him, chat? I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Mexico City, and Mexico City is one of the, I mean, without a doubt. It's one of the capitals of food in the entire world. I have an incredibly special day to share with you today. I'm about to meet up with Lalo, who is from La Ruta. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, yeah, hey guys, today, yes, today we're watching some food reviews, guys. He's a uh, guys, we, we, guys, and he's guys, 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 let me, let, let, guys, 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 right let me, let me just try this stuff. Take me and you on the ultimate best tacos tour Shit. in Mexico City. So oh, get ready to it's eat the bustin'. best tacos in Mexico City. <laughs> okay, say hello to Lalo. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that actually looks fantastic. Yeah. Going to first. We're going to eat, uh, this is a uh, taco. Taco, okay. the best taco uh, guide in Mexico City. So we are going to eat tacos de canasta. Oh, tacos de it's canasta. It's for the morning. Ah, in the basket, right? Yeah, in the basket. Okay. Oh, that's something yeah. I haven't tried Morning yet. tacos. It's amazing taco. It's cheap. Awesome. It's easy to, to get. And it's um, very delicious. This better be good, man. Our 
tacos de canasta normally eaten in the morning? In the morning. Or all throughout the whole day? In no, no, no. Only in the morning. It's okay. more like 7 to okay. 3 p.m. Ah, okay. There must be a couple thousand tacos which are just stacked up into that basket. And they are steamed in there. And what's amazing about these tacos de canasta is that they remain warm throughout the entire time that they're selling there. Because all of them kind of yeah, hold so back on the camera. They're stuffed within that basket so packed so tightly. And then what's also awesome is they've got a blanket to keep them warm. Oh, this is this will keep you warm in the morning too. What is the most elevated thing you say? Carne de sobrada, joven. Carne de sobrada. A ver, écheme uno de charro. No toppings, no. Y mole verde. A ver, cebollitas. Otros dos más. Uno más. Uno más. A mí con cebolla, joven. Sí, por favor. Sí. sí. Un número más, amor. Gracias. Muchas gracias. What's up, man? Con chicharrón. Con chicharrón. Sí. Oh, okay. We're moving over here to the salsa station, and they have a couple of different salsas. This particular salsa right here, it includes chicharrón. Oh, man. How, how could they think of anything better than that? <laughs> Obviously. We're gonna start with the chicharron. That, that's a chunky and salsa, we've though. Added salsa de chicharron onto it. So it's chicharron on top of chicharron. It's fried pork skin on top of fried <laughs> pork skin. That is all you could ask for. Oh, oh dude. Oh, wow. oh, dude. dude. Oh, that's insane. Dude. Soft flavor. Yeah. It's dude. so soft. Oh. It's just absorbed. Dude. All he, he, does, he always does this. Why, dude? Oh, Shit, man. Yeah, it's soft flavor. That chicharron so is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's really big one. It's really big one. Taco. Mm -hmm. and you know, for me, and I think that mm, the taco is the most and delicious thing in the world. Why? Because tortilla, for the Mexican, it's our plate. So we eat our plate. Mm -hmm. Taco eats everything. You put it on a tortilla. Mm, sweet. So sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. Oh, really good. The next taco is the mole verde. And it is, um, you can see the, the green uh, mole in there. You can see there's some meat. And then you can see potatoes in here too. So it's actually quite hearty. Eh. Not a bit of this one, oh. chat. Oh, that's good. Most a corner. See that? Oh, oh quesadillas. Oh, that's okay. That's bucket. This is another meat palace. They have. I mean, this is a huge production here. They have all sorts of meats grilling over here. But Lalo is taking me over here, where there the main reason you have to come here is for the carnitas. This is the place. It's just like falling apart in that glass cabinet there, and they're just pulling it off. They're they're chopping it. Is that up. pulled pork? Where's oh, that? Oh man. Oh man. You can order whatever you want a part of the pork. Okay, if you want yeah, all, uh, that's all, all different yeah. types of carnitas. It's yeah, all carnitas. Yeah. Okay. All, all of the pork okay. are in carnitas, so okay. you can order whatever you want. It's it crazy. Look at all of that. It's it crazy shit. It's so cheap. I want to get the price of, uh, of all this. It's like nothing. Like a buck or some shit. Look at that. Oh, they're, they're huge. Man, that is actually insane. Out of that tub of carnitas, the whole thing shakes because it's so soft. It yeah. like wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see them chopping up the meat, so they chop up the meat really finely, then they stuff it into three tortillas, uh, they're double tortillas, double and, tortillas. and then they add on the, wow, they cilantro, add on the cilantro and onion. And Mark, this is your gift from Mexico. There's a little- Cilantro, onion, all that, that's so pee. We're gonna show you what that's for very soon. Gracias. So you the bathroom? I got two different types of carnitas. One is a mix of meat and fat, and then the other one, costilla. Costilla. Yeah, it's it's a whole rib, and you can see in this taco, there's a whole bone in there, and look at that meat. Oh, that just looks fall apart tender. All oh, that's that salsa though, shish. It's gonna just slide off the bone without a doubt. Oh, the bone, the taste, slide off. 
why, why do you go to the steak house and you get a, you style, get a bone man. in we bullshit? Style, we get a tomahawk steak. Yeah. We made the bone. We added the salsa, and now this is the most genius plate you'll ever see. And it inserts just perfectly. And hold. Lalo, you're a genius. So you have hands free. We can be filming. Yeah, yeah. We can be eating tacos, and we can I'm hold drinking. our drinks all at the same time. And answer the phone. Hey, hi, mom. I'm eating tacos. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze on. What? This is just gonna OP though. Lime, just Why to would get it that, fall? That extra this citrus guy, component, which is yeah. a must in tacos. And I'm gonna go for this one first. This Doesn't is the carnitas, a mix of skin. You can see the chunks of skin down there. Wow, that's a lot of meat stuffed into a tortilla. A lot of new chatter. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at that. Bat chest second coming. Suspicious user. Ban evader. Okay. First time chat. First time chat. Look at this. I'm not hearing any fucking takes from a malnourished monkey that survives off of toenails and Big Macs. Oh. Watch the video, dude. The dude nails later. Echo. Unbelievable. The skin is soft. It is. Yeah. It just sort of like hey, melts. Yeah, it you melts. The salsa eats a little the spice. Happens to your Tesla is it still in Texas? The batteries will get damaged if you don't damage them. When will you get a license? One of the things that's amazing about this taco is it requires very, very little chewing. Oh, the car is plugged in at home, yeah. And you can swallow it because it's so soft. And it's just all... It's melting together with that meat, with that skin. The onions in there give it a crunch. You've got the refreshing cilantro, and then that's what is the drink? Is that is that a Pepsi crystal? And then that squeeze of lime. It just lime. all it just all comes together. Water. I have never. My man's in Mexico. He's not even gonna get a Mexican uh, coke. Uh, had uh, a Reddit. taco or uh, seen Reddit. a taco like this with uh, a Reddit. bone, an entire bone rib in the taco before. So you can see, okay, so there's onions and there's cilantro and then it's the whole bone of pork in here, the whole rib. It's inside of the taco. So Lalo told me that you can either take out the bone right now. Yeah, Mexican Coke, is that not a thing? Yeah, yes, I'm not being weird and insensitive. Mexican Coke is a thing, why are you being weird? Yeah, Mexican Coke, what is on you? Or you can just start eating it and just work your way around. As real, I think I'm just cane sugar, and it comes in a glass so bottle. Pick up this Mexican Coke, just, what about it? I mean, the tortillas are just here to hold it all together. Chat's dumb as fuck today. What's going on with the chat, man? Where are we after next? Uh, we're going to El Pescadito, but okay. it's a uh, fish taco. Fish. This is called El Pescadito. They are from Hermosillo, Sonora. Ah, okay. This is kind. This is kind of restaurant. I know, you know. But this is fish tacos. So I think that everything of the sea, we need to give you respect. Wow, very much. So this is kind. No, it looks like fancy, but it's cheap, and it's great. And they make you the tacos in front of you. ¿Qué es foto te? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué? Well, that's not a fish. That's a pepperoni. It's it's a it's a, a jalapeno pepper. I'm sorry. Things are really starting to heat up on this taco tour. I think I'm gonna have to take off my jacket. <laughs> oh man, and, and loosen the belt, man. <laughs> and we're gonna go season them with the salsas over there. I'm just gonna load them up. And they'll be ready to eat all day. I, yeah, I, I don't know about these either, chat. This is our third taco stop of the day. Yeah. And still, I've never been excited, so excited in my entire life to eat tacos, man. Oh, man. What else did they get there? Beautiful. I have so much. 
tub is just full of meat bubbling away. That's all gonna sell out by today. 70 and, cents and you for know taco. Why it's gonna sell out because it is outstanding. Come outside now and it's looking kind of dark. It looks like it's about to rain. Oh, I just felt a drop. If I saw Trump, but we made it. There are just poofs of steam just wafting through this entire restaurant and along the sidewalk and throughout the street here. It's so cozy though, dude. It's uh, not so cozy so though. You just chill outside. Yeah, yeah. Lalo has been telling me that. I mean, again, they have all sorts of different tacos here. But the taco to eat here is tripa, which is the intestines. And they have uh, another massive vat just full of the wrinkly curly intestines just slow simmering away in their juices again yes no i love it wait what wait that's fucking the meat cooked. steam bath yeah. at this restaurant is both of these two tacos especially oh like yeah one, i was one of my, skip my those, top to be honest yeah i mean yeah, i've just been impressed all day with the different tacos that we've been eating <laughs> But this, oh man, this, this like, Mona Lisa. this is another level. Yeah, this is another like level. The Mona Lisa. Wow. And he has so much skill. It is time. This, you can already oh, tell, it's going to be a, a messy, just overflowing taco. Look, look at the size of that. There's so much meat in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we already watched Indian Street food. It was a little bit of a amazing. fucking disaster. I did not enjoy Indian street food at all. Wow. Tacos al pastor is amazing. The pineapple is so sweet. Oh, it combines and mixes it with the meat. The meat has a little bit of sourness from that vinegar. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, you taste the cheese it's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. It's completely different with the corn tortilla. That is, yeah, completely different. Bring that. That is absolutely as good as it looks. And it's street food, pizzas, and burgers. If you want to see something <laughs> cool about this, think. I type it with some get hot dog burgers. Oh, these are these look fucking bomb though. Oh shit! Are those pepperonis or sausages? You know, you know what I like? I like a good pepperoni. Like a good pepperoni sausage. Those are fucking insane, dank wicked. Or a good chorizo. A good chorizo fucking sausage. Oh, chorizo. Uh, whatever the fuck you call me. What is this fucking spelling B, bitch? I don't give a, I don't care what it's called. I did it. I'll get a chorizo if I wanted it. What is this? No, Felix, stop talking. You have no place to have a take while having a mouthful of toenails. <laughs> Literally getting nutrients from toenails. <laughs> Still eating toenail the side of molding donuts. Because I heard Costco discontinued the Polish dog. Why? That's so weird. They did it. Go to the website like there. You're on the Costco? No for the dogs? Google this? 
they, 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 they're making plates for the menu to have more healthier options. Where I'm from, we have Costco poutine. I'm not even kidding. And you know what? It's actually good. Costco poutine, not bad. Oh, burgers. Oh, that's too much for me. That's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's too much onion. Or shot at a fast food joint, no shot. Mate, check out on these street food the dog link. Monthly sales of a million dollars at Detroit Pizza. As a fellow Canadian, I agree Costco poutine is bussin'. I went there last week and they still had polished dogs here. Really? Artisanal pizzas. That's kind of wicked. This is kind of nice. Wait, that's fucking huge. What the fuck? Is that even a carrot? What the fuck? Is... Jesus! Is this some fucking Jurassic Park? What, dude, look at the size of those vegetables. He's gonna toast them and he's gonna crush them. Guys, his hand doesn't even fit the carrot. Yeah, he's gonna toast them. I knew it. To make a sauce. That must smell so good though. Who cares if it's burnt? Nobody cares if it's burnt. Yeah, 
They're not serving this, they're using it for, using it for taste, man. Can we this is drink? Oh yo, cancer cares! Says the guy who fucking says it's computer all that doesn't move, colon cancer Andy, eats absolute fucking dog shit and puffs off the vape every fucking 48 seconds. Shut your stupid ass up, moron. Is there, is there a stock? Says me. I'm not the guy saying it. Uh, actually, that's cancer. Oh my god. And that's that's too charred. That's cancer. Oh wow! It it, it, it risen. Let me see a good pizza. Go faster, man. Oh, it hasn't risen yet. Chat, why not you, you guys, did he, did he really get a uh, uh, canned gun or whatever? Canned tomatoes are fine. Even if it's like an authentic fucking uh, a restaurant, like Italian thing, whatever, who cares? Canned tomatoes are fine. There's not much of a difference. If you're making a sauce and shit like that, sometimes it's better that they're canned, they're canned tomatoes than, than, than putting fresh tomatoes. That's just the reality of it, man. Get mad. Get mad? Yes, sometimes they're, they're, they're better, literally better. Can tomatoes better than if you get fresh for, for that, for that matter, yeah. How did I know? Because I know, man. Because depending what you're cooking, you'll get fresh tomatoes, canned tomatoes, and tomato puree. All three. And that's fine. It doesn't mean your thing isn't fresh or isn't using real fresh ingredients. It's just it's just better both worlds, man. They all have their own specialty. I, I, I hate tomatoes. I, I hate I fucking hate tomatoes. See? Tomato puree, bitch. Tomato puree, bitch. Another paste, sorry. Same thing. He's making a bolognese? Oh, mustard! Oh, come on, man! <laughs> what 
por los sanales, por los tres sanales. What? Is there sous-vide? Oh wow, what is that, Jack? Is that deep dish pizza? I don't understand it. Detroit style. Oh, it's starting to come together, boys. Oh my. You know what though? You know what though? If I went to an Italian place, I think they put effort into the toppings a lot. F. Guys, I have zero drop frames. Guys, we're deep green plus zero frames dropped. How could I possibly F it's impossible? Pray, guys. Oh, it's Twitch then. Yeah, it's Twitch. Oh, that's fucking up now. Because I feel like if you go to like a, a real Italian place, you get a pizza, I think they take great pride in putting good toppings. Ball hard. Good toppings. Balls hard. Bonjour Felix. Saint Armer. Raypon Conjure Tecris Phil's Depute. This just isn't wrong. Pizza's all about the bread, buddy. And, I, and and your mom was all about my bread last night. Fuck you, man. Who are you? Oh, yes. Whoa, 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 chill! What the fuck am I watching? Thirty-three months. How the fuck have I been here this long? He's ruining it then. Anyway, excuse the L, I guess. Huh? Is that goat cheese? You're just spamming. You're just, you're just spamming. Wait, that actually looks fantastic, wasn't it? Wait, that actually kind of looks bussin'. Oh, 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 it's a four cheese. Korean or Japanese ass pizza. I wish we hadn't stopped to just Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This shit is absolutely disgusting. Mods? Mods? What the fuck was that? Yeah, just banned this guy across the border. What is that, man?
Okay, 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 you're ruining it now. Okay, dude, okay, you're ruining it now. My, my mans? My mans? <laughs> it's not too bad. This not. See, this isn't too bad. Keep it clean. Keep it simple. Keep it. Fucking there, man. Oh, he's smoking it. Oh, wow. It, oh, my God. Oh. What? What? Okay.